Hi, in the video playlist, I put down a video from Tech Talk about barometer. And if you haven't watched it yet, make sure you go and check it out. In the video, there's a question saying that they always find out when they perform this setup, the height of the water is always 10.3 meter from the water surface. So I want you to think about why. Okay, let me give you some hint. You have to think about the pressure here and also on this water surface, what is the pressure here? Trust me, you can use your existing knowledge to resolve this mystery. Pause the video and try it yourself. A few moments later. Okay, let's check the answer. So first of all, as you know, here is actually a vacuum and so the pressure is in fact literally zero as for the pressure on the water surface outside this is actually referred to the atmospheric pressure which you have learned about in the simulation uh, a few videos back so if you recall that pressure is actually 101 k pascal usually uh, in a normal weather day okay and so the calculation that you have to make to show that the height should always be 10.3 meter could be using the idea of delta p equals to rho g h okay and so the delta p is obviously 101 k pascal minus zero so that would simply be 101 k pascal. As for the rho, because they are using pure water, and so the density should be 1000, okay, or 997, if you like to use a more precise value. Okay, let's change it to 997 for rho. G is 9.81, and so, the H is the one that we want to find and hopefully that is 10.3 so using your calculator right so you can find 10.32659 something so yeah roughly 10.3 meter so that is why with such pressure atmospheric pressure which well even now and also back that time it should still be very similar and for the density with this gravity on earth then the height that you can build at most can only be 10.3 because you cannot go lower than zero zero is the minimum already you cannot go negative for pressure so this this is why 10.3 uh, meter is the longest length you can make for such setup so these kind of devices are all called barometer, no matter what liquids are in it. The main purpose of barometer is to monitor or measure the atmospheric pressure because it actually changes depending on the weather. So people in the past used this as a forecast device. Of course, nowadays we got computer, we got satellite, other things. In the past, we can only look at the air pressure and hopefully we can guess what happened next, whether or not there's a typhoon or anything happened. Here in the diagram, you can see uh, it changed from water to mercury. And in fact, mercury is a better choice. So I would like you to think about why. Pause the video and try to come up with your justification. A few moments later, before we justify why mercury is better, let's put on the equations again because yeah, that's how we try to explain something in physics. So the atmospheric pressure on this surface again is P and the pressure here is zero. So let's just say by using delta P equals to rho GH, then we can say the atmospheric pressure equals to density times g times the height or more precisely delta h if we define this to be delta h 
and so if you look at this equation then you can easily tell because if we use mercury and you should also know for a matter of fact that mercury is liquid first of all and also it has a very very high density much higher than water and so think about this if rho density increase g doesn't change and atmospheric pressure doesn't change of course we are trying to compare how water would do better or worse than mercury right so the external factor like atmospheric pressure should not change in this case then delta h the height of the column will be less right and so the advantage of building this barometer is it is just more feasible because uh, if you can try to plug in the number and try to calculate the usual atmospheric pressure which is 101k pascal again will give 760 millimeters so that means this will only be like 60 sorry 76 cm which is yeah which is something that's more practical to read imagine you have to read the water column which is 10 meter long there's no way you can uh, read it easily okay so once again the key ideas for barometer is it has a tube with vacuum okay this is very important because only with vacuum then pressure is zero at the top and the pressure of the air the atmospheric pressure will push the surface on the reservoir okay so the reservoir is referred as basically the liquid at the bottom uh, forcing the mercury to go up the tube and by measuring the height then we can somewhat link to the atmospheric pressure using this equation all right if you're okay with the basic idea let's try this past paper question pause the video now a few moments later okay so very typical picture and at the top as you know it is vacuum vacuum is double u and at the bottom you can call it reservoir or you can also simply say mercury right because that's what you fill in at the bottom and so um you also need to label the level right so i guess here and then it could be like this if you like to color it i'm not sure if you should do that um, then make sure you color it, color it you know better right better than me okay and then uh, you can then label the h from the surface of the reservoir to the level at the top so label it as the h you need to measure part b is the same exactly the same calculation that we did so let's recall the equation delta p equals rho g h and so delta p is yeah the the answer that we want to find so atmospheric pressure minus zero because uh, the vacuum is zero just to show the marker that oh i know vacuum is zero rho is given and g is 10 h is 0 0.73 meter nice they give you the meter right this is a SI unit so yeah everything is good and just key in to the calculator okay so it is 992x0 pascal and yeah I think I think that's something you can do if you like to you can convert this to two sig fix so 9.9 .9 k pascal yeah that's something you could do lastly they said the standard atmospheric pressure is 0 0.76 the one that you had earlier is 0 0.73 so the previous one was smaller shorter and so they ask you why why this h is lower in b than the standard one so the first thing no matter what reason you come up with you have to uh, think through the equations again so according to this equation if h is smaller 0 0.73 smaller than this so-called standard one then that means 
um, something to do with the pressure obviously right so you can say the atmospheric pressure is lower because of different reasons so the atmospheric pressure is lower could be because of it's not really a vacuum so maybe there are some air pressure still remain uh, at the top so maybe there are some air in it that could be one reason the other reason could be simply uh, is of a high attitude so that means it maybe it's on the mountain that's why you have uh, weaker or less pressure and the other possible reason could also be like I said earlier the weather so maybe there is a typhoon nearby so abnormal weather in case you want to look up the marking scheme you can pause the video and check out this that's all for the video thanks for watching bye